everyone. I'm Donna Meeks, and we're talking with Mark Youngblood, founder and CEO of Inner Mastery, Inc., and author of the provocatively titled book, Dear Human, Master Your Emotions. What motivated you to write the book, Dear Human, Master Your Emotions? I'm really committed to helping people lead a great life, to raise their consciousness, to be able to have a very joyful, loving experience in their life. And most people don't have that. And one of the primary reasons they don't have it is because there's all these emotional upsets. And so if you could learn about your emotions and have a different relationship with them and be able to manage them in a really healthy way, then you're going to be able to have a great life. In a few words, what's this book about? It's about how to be your best self all the time, every day. And that's difficult for people. Our best self lives in the penthouse of our consciousness. And when we get emotionally triggered, we take the down elevator. And that's the main reason we're not our best selves. If we weren't getting triggered emotionally, we probably would be our best selves all the time. So if we knew how to handle that and to avoid that trip down the elevator, then we're gonna stay up at that highest consciousness. And that's what the book is about, is it helps you to understand how all that happens and what are the tools you can use to bring yourself back up to the penthouse. Who is Dear Human, Master Your Emotions written for, and who will benefit from reading this book? The simple answer is anyone who wants to improve their life. Because the fact of the matter is, emotional mastery is essential for everything that matters in life. It's essential for great relationships. It's essential to be a great parent. You have to have it to be a great leader. To succeed in business and, and be a great colleague. It's, it's central to everything. People who want that, if you want more of that in your life, if you want more uh, happiness, more well-being, greater fulfillment, then this book is for you. Why start your title with the phrase, Dear Human? <laughs> That's a great question. It was actually originally one of the titles of a chapter in the book, and my publisher pointed out that that would be a great title, and I got to thinking about it. And, you know, it's, it's like this. We, we're born into these bodies, and we're giving all these emotions, and no user guide. So, to me, this is kind of like a message from source, saying, Dear Human, Here's the user guide that you so desperately need. You claim that people can be their best self all the time. Is that realistic? Well, I think it is. Um, it's something that many of the people that have done this work are able to achieve. It's not realistic for most people. You have to understand yourself. And you have to have the tools that would enable you to get there. And once you learn them, once you create inner mastery, yes, you can, you can be your best self practically all the time. And of course, you're going to fall short sometimes, but it's not very often. Mark, you make a strong case against emotional drama, but doesn't drama give spice to life and make things interesting? We have, to, we have to take and distinguish negative drama from entertainment. Like if you go to the movies, that's entertaining drama. Even when what's going on up there is really messy. There's drama like riding a roller coaster or going to a ball game or having a competitive volleyball game at the family picnic. That's fun drama. That's exciting, energizing. I'm talking about negative drama. And no, it, that doesn't add to the spice of life. Like what's so interesting about fighting with your husband or wife? What's, what's so interesting about 
blowing up at your kids or being stressed all the time or overwhelmed. That kind of drama, I don't think very many people want that kind of drama in their lives. And that's what I'm talking about. You claim there are no negative emotions and that emotions are merely messengers. What do you mean by that? We're born with a lot of assets to help us live a great life. Like we have eyes, we have ears, we have arms and legs, and we have emotions. They're there to help us. They're assets. So there are no negative emotions. They're just negative ways to act out emotions. So emotions themselves are messengers. And what that means is they bring us energy and information. And if we take that, act on it appropriately, the emotion comes up and it passes on. And that's the way an emotion is supposed to work. Like frustration. Very common to have frustration these days. Well, the purpose of frustration, first of all, it brings us an activating energy is to tell us, hey, what you're doing isn't working. Do something else if you want to get your results. So that's what I mean by all emotions are assets and, and have a positive impact on our life if we know what to do with them. You write about black sheep emotions. What are they and why do they matter? Everybody has certain emotions that are too painful for them to feel. They don't, they don't want to know anything about them. They don't want to feel them. There's a few of those that are in common for most people. They would be like shame, anger, sadness, grief, fear. But they could really be anything that a person grew up feeling like it wasn't okay. It was either too painful or it was off limits. We were taught it's not okay to have that emotion. I know people that happiness and contentment were in their black sheep emotions. So it can be anything. And, and the issue with black sheep emotions is because we don't want to feel them, then we have to displace them with something else. And it's the act of doing that other thing, which is almost always dysfunctional and destructive, instead of facing that painful emotion that's causing so much of this suffering that we see in the world. We're speaking with Mark Youngblood about his latest book, Dear Human, Master Your Emotions. What are some of the ways people try to avoid painful emotions? Well, the most common ones are suppressing them. I'm just going to bottle them up and there's a lot of negative consequences that come from suppressing your emotions. Addictions are numbing those, those emotions. Compulsive behaviors are a way of avoiding them. Drama is actually a way of avoiding black sheep emotions, painful emotions. And sadly, suicide. A, a million people a year try to commit suicide in the United States alone, and 80,000 succeed. And part of the reason is that the emotions they have these painful emotions that they would rather die than feel those emotions, which is tragic. And, you know, it might be a little confusing when I say drama is on that list because a lot of people say, well, there's plenty of drama that's painful. Yeah, it is painful, but it is nothing compared to the emotion you're trying to avoid. So, for instance, if somebody does something that I feel shamed, I may attack and be angry and, uh, and or bitter or resentful, which is a lot easier to do than deal with my shame. So that's, that's what goes on with drama. That's why drama is one of the ways we avoid painful emotions. You talk about a pilot and an autopilot. What are they and why do they matter? Maybe the best way to illustrate that is an experience almost everybody has had is to make a New Year's resolution. And it happens so much, it's, it's like New Year's resolution syndrome, where you commit to some change you're going to have in your life. And it lasts a month or two. And then you go back to your old habits. And there's a reason for that. 
is because the part of you that wants the change, which is the pilot, is not the part of you that controls the behavior. That's the autopilot or the subconscious. And so, if we want to make a permanent change, we have to be able to go into the subconscious. We have to deal with the autopilot because when we get triggered, the autopilot jumps into the driver's seat and takes over. And, and we're acting out a memorized reaction. And if we want to be our best self, then we've got to keep the pilot in the driver's seat. And to do that, we need the tools, the techniques, the strategies, the mindsets, which is the very reason that I dedicated half the book to this really extensive set of tools and practices to enable you to do that, to put your pilot back in the driver's seat and create the life that you want, a great life. We've been talking with Mark Youngblood, author of Dear Human, Master Your Emotions, which will be in bookstores on September 5th, 2017. This has been Donna Meeks. Thank you for listening.